This is our new rotary table. And what it does is it allows you to square cut your beams or to cut your rafters, cut your bird's mouths. So let me just show you how this works actually. First of all, you just simply put it on your beam. In this case, I'm not going to be particular about where I place it because we're just going to square cut as an example. Go ahead and screw that down. So once you've screwed that on, you set your set yourself up to a, if you're going to make a square cut, just set it at zero, lock it in. You don't have to over tighten. And then this goes in conjunction with the Accutec miter mill. The Accutec you simply clamp to your chainsaw bar. There's no need to drill holes or anything. It's a very well made ball bearing construction, all aluminum casting. Uh, it's a really nice piece of equipment. And basically what this does is it rides on this slide plate, which is a heavy, high density plastic. It's slippery, moves very freely. Now this beam is only a six by six, but you can cut an eight by eight or eight by 12 just as quickly and just as easily as the example we just showed you. So now you've got a square cut. Typically our next part of the operation would be to cut the slot for our T-Rex. But I want to just rotate this to show you if you were cutting rafters it would be a simple thing. Quite often we use a 10-12 pitch what I, that I know is a 40 degree cut. So I would set this on 40 degrees and I can now cut my rafter. If I'm not sure the degrees and I want a 10-12 pitch, we've got the roof pitch built into the tool. All you have to do is set this on 10, where you see roof pitch, set it on 10. So it's kind of a double check. You have uh, 40 degrees here, and, and it, it's kind of a confirmation that you got it right by the 10-12 roof pitch. Now you can cut your angle. You can cut your rafter. No problem. You can also move this down. You can cut your complementer. Well, actually, it's going to be the same angle on this side for your bird's mouth. You want to cut the complementary angle, which would be 50 degrees if you were cutting your bird's mouth. So you set that at 50. And now you're going to cut the complementary angle on your bird's mouth cut. It's, it's very simple, easy to use. It's fast. It's efficient. You saw how quickly I square cut that beam. 